Ernesto, how dare you destroy my house? Ooh. Go to the principal's office. How dare you beat up Norman? How dare you put a Trojan virus on my computer? Your computer sucks. Shut up! S5EP2, Ernesto gets his mom arrested slash grounded slash punishment day. Requested by, Princess Renee Sayanana 2001. I am gonna make my videos longer and more detailed. Okay Ernesto Johnson, you got all of your vaccines and stuff. Your checkup is over. You are not sick. You don't have a fever, you don't have the flu, you don't have diabetes, and you don't have cancer. Thanks Dr. Tanner. You're welcome. Please have a good day. Alright. We are going home. Mom, why did you take me to the doctors? I hate going there because it's so boring. You needed a checkup, and you needed to get shots. You should have cancelled the doctor's appointment. The waiting room has old boring magazines from 2003. Those magazines were about outdated house decor. You still needed to see the doctor. Get over it. The appointment is over now. Er... Pouting face. That doctor's appointment sucked. The doctor's office smells bad, the magazines are outdated and old, the TV only shows bad shows etc. My mom is so dense. She is more dumb than my stupid dad. My dad is at the motorcycle dealership with Boris, so my dad can buy a new Harley Davidson motorcycle. I think it's called the Road King or something. My mom is watching a boring soap opera on TV. My parents finally got rid of cable TV and they now use streaming services like Hulu, Netflix, and Amazon Fire Stick. I know. I'll go on my mom's phone and prank call some people. I'll change my voice into a female voice. It'll hurt but yay. A-H-H-H-H-H-H my voice box. Yay. My voice is now a girl voice. My face looks a little different but oh well. Once I'm done making prank phone calls, then I'll change my voice back to my male voice. Now I'll make prank phone calls. Hey! I see my mom's phone. It's on the countertop. Now I'll call Sir Watkins. I am going to play Roblox. I have a phone call from Julie. Hey Julie. What's up? Sir Walton, you suck. I hope your YouTube channel gets terminated or hacked, and I hope that you get hurt. Julie. I thought that we're friends. Also my name is Sir Watkins not Sir Walton. You thought wrong, loser. We are not friends anymore. Hey 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 hey. <laughs> now I'll prank call a car dealership. Hello. This is Plotagon City Toyota, and my name is Kirk. We have a lot of great reliable cars for sale like the Camry, Corolla, RAV4, Highlander, 86, 4Runner, etc. I would like to buy a new Honda Civic. We don't sell new Hondas, we sell new Toyotas. However, we have used Honda Civics for sale. I want a new Honda right now. If you don't sell me a new Honda then I want to speak to your manager. I am the manager so stop acting like a Karen. This isn't a Honda dealership, this is a Toyota dealership. We sell Toyota, not Honda. Whatever just sell me a Chevy. Oh this is a prank call. I'm calling the police, we don't deal with prank calls at Plotagon City Toyota. 
by Karen. <laughs> I'll prank call the school principal. I am going to have a meeting with the school superintendent in an hour. I'm gonna gather up my papers and documents. Another phone call. It's probably from a teacher or an angry parent who is made at me because their child got a bad grade. Who am I talking to? I am the principal of the Plotagon City High School. How may I help you? I noticed that I got a missed call from you, so I decided to call you back because you called first. For, you know, politeness. You got the wrong number, I didn't call you. Douchebag. You called me first so stop lying. You are a sucker. Hey, I didn't call you. You called me first moron. Stop prank calling, I'm calling the authorities. I'm tired, because I have to work at a school on the weekend. Now I'll call McDonald's. I got a call. Hello, welcome to McDonald's and my name is Noah. Hey, I would like to have a Whopper. Ma'am, this isn't Burger King. This is McDonald's. If you want a Whopper, then call or go to Burger King. Sir, cook me a dang Whopper right now. Whoppers are better than Big Macs. You are wasting my time, idiot. Adios. Now I'll call this guy and ask for health advice. Hello, my name is Lance. How may I help you? Sir, I have trouble using the bathroom so can you give me health advice? Huh. I don't have any health advices, because I am not a doctor. I recommend you ask a doctor for advice about that. Please sir help. Okay take some medicine or something. That's all of the advice I can give you. Don't call back please. Okay that's all of the prank calls I'll make. I'll turn my voice back to normal. I'm done watching soap operas. I'll answer the door. Julie Johnson, you are under arrest for making prank phone calls. Officer, I didn't do anything. Don't lie to me. You made prank phone calls and you know it. Now go in the cop car now or I'll charge you with resisting arrest. Julie, you have one phone call. Hello, James. Hey, Julie. What happened? Why am I getting a call from jail? I just arrived home a few minutes ago in my new motorcycle. I got arrested for making prank phone calls, even though I didn't make those phone calls. My bail is $5,000. Okay, I'll bail you out once I get the money. If I don't have the $5,000, then I will purchase a bail bond. I think I most likely need to call a bail bond agent, because I don't think we have $5,000 laying around. I'll talk to Samantha, because I think she did it. I think she stole your phone and made those calls. Samantha? Did you steal your mom's phone and make prank phone calls? Your mom's in jail. Mom is in jail. Is she okay? I didn't steal her phone. If you didn't do it, then why did the prank caller sound like a girl? I, I don't know, but it wasn't me. I swear. Okay, I believe you. I'll ask Ernesto. Hey, Pops. Did you steal your mom's phone and make prank phone calls? Your mom's in jail right now, and I am going to call the bail bond agent. No, I didn't do anything. Mom is just a stupid criminal. Ernesto? I can tell that you are lying because you start to use insults when you lie. Tell me the truth. Okay, 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 I changed my voice to a girl, stole my mom's phone, and made prank phone calls causing my mom to get arrested. I did it because my mom took me to the doctors and I didn't like it. Ernesto. You are grounded for 923052118553320932093 years. How dare you cause your mom to get arrested by pretending to be her and give people prank phone calls. 
Now I have to bail your mom out of jail, and possibly go to court. You suck. Now I have to do something that I rarely do, a punishment day. No not a punishment day. Wa 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 wa. Your punishment day is tomorrow, so be prepared. Now I have to contact the bail bond agent so I can bail your mom out of jail. I hope that you are prepared for your punishment day, well, punishment days because your last punishment is tomorrow. You will get three punishments. Hopefully you will learn your lesson. First punishment, drinking two bottles of your least favorite soda, Diet Coke. Oh no, slurp slurp slurp. You gross. I'm about to puke. Bleh. Second punishment, watching your least favorite Loud House episodes, no such luck and brawl in the family for four hours. Don't worry, here are some popcorn and a Coca-Cola. I'm not gonna just let you sit here without food or a beverage. Wow. Final punishment. Being my assistant at my job at the Cheerios factory headquarters for 9 hours. You will have breaks. Oh no. Dude, I may die from boredom, because this job is boring. You just do paperwork about Cheerios. I have to do a lot of things other than paperwork, because I am the manager of the Cheerios factory. You will not die. Wow 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 w